Hey guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Toting. So on Twitter, there are these math walks posted by at Tracy Teacher, which I like to solve. Today, there was a nice math walk question that was about this fractal-like drawing. For those of you who don't know what a fractal is, it's a sort of never-ending pattern. This math walk question has a limited fractal, which is a fractal, but it ends at some point. And what I wanted to do in Python was make this, but make the user have a choice on how big they want the fractal to be and how much they go into the fractal. We start off with from turtle import star, it imports turtle, because that's what we were doing these episodes about for the past three. From math import star, which basically imports some math functions pen, which just opens the display screen, def fractal, l slash n, or l comma n. What that does is it makes a fractal function with the arguments l comma n. And then I do the hide turtle function. What that does is whenever you see that little weird cursor thing, um, it basically hides it with hide turtle. And the reason I did that was because when it went to the end, when it would be really small, that cursor really took up most of it and you wouldn't be able to see the big picture. So j equals one, that's our incrementer. So while j is less than or equal to n, which is one of our arguments here, k is l over square root two to the power, that's what these two asterisks are for, j minus one. And so I got this thing by using the Pythagorean theorem that says that the two sides that are not the hypotenuse of a right triangle, if you square the side lengths, so a square, which is one side, b square, which is the other side, so you square the side lengths, is c square, the hypotenuse square. And so I used that on the edge of the fractal to try and find the side length. And so that's where I got this equation from. If j modulus two is zero, which basically means if j is an even number, you do color pink, else you do color green. And that was for coloring the fractal. So you do then fill, and you do ds of k. What is ds? Well, that is an acronym for draw square. It's this own nice little function. And I've showed this function many times, maybe as a black square or a white square, or sometimes maybe just as draw square. So I won't get into this function. And then you do forward k over two. You do right 45 end of fill, which just ends the fill, and then you increment j by one. So it goes on this whole loop down. And I didn't have this do thing before, but I really like adding it in. So instead of using an input function, the user will use the function itself. And when you're using the function in the shell, it's very helpful because you don't need to do reset and then um, redo the fractal function and then um, use it. So do is very useful. And that is it for the best of this video. And for the math walk, um, the question said, what things can you observe from this? I'm just paraphrasing. So right now I'm just going to be saying what I noticed. First of all, it is a limited fractal. I explained what that is. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find side lengths and the difference between side lengths. All the vertices line up in the ordinal slash cardinal directions, which means if you look here, that's going north. And then if you look here, that's going northwest, that's going northeast, that's going southeast, and that's going southwest. So any of these vertices will always point one of those cardinal or ordinal directions. And another thing 
is if this goes on for infinity, you could basically just take this first square out, turn the whole thing 45 degrees, which recreates the whole fractal, and take the second layer off, and then turn it 45 degrees, take the third layer off, and so it's basically trying to create your own version of the fractal. And if you did it for an infinitely long time, you would just duplicate it. So you create two from one. That might be hard to grasp your head around, which it was for me when I just first thought of it. But if you can think about what it means, it's very cool. So area um, becomes half in each direction, well, not direction, iteration. So the first square is two times the area of the second square. The second square is two times the area of the third square, and so on, so on. Check out the description for links to Tracy Teacher, the person who posts these math walks, and the hashtag math walk. And subscriber goal is 100, so if you like this video, please subscribe. I hope you like it. Now, bye!